another um, uh, song lesson uh, breakdown um, from the All Screwed Up EP and uh, today we're going to be talking about the uh, the title track from the EP so All Screwed Up. Um, this is a really fun one to play although I guess I'm biased right? <laughs> uh, but this is one of my favorite riffs on the EP. It's a lot of fun to play. Uh, it's got a fun sway to it um, so let's just kind of jump right into it. So it starts off um, so it starts off like this. So it's that second fret on the D string, so E. And then open E, uh, open low E, and then third fret, fourth fret. And second fret on the A, so you're hitting the B. And open E again. Uh, G, so third fret on the E. And then open E. So kind of all together, you have something that sounds like think I'm doing a bend there. I don't know. It's weird because it's like I start to play tricks on myself, you know, versus what's actually on the <laughs> recording and how I might play it in the moment. It's weird. It, I don't know how to describe it. But so that first part kind of goes like that. So. And then when you do it again, you're doing the exact same thing. But instead of hitting the open low E at the very end, you're hitting the open D string. So, so kind of from the top is, and then that new part is just the same thing with the open D. So that's pretty much it. The Max doing his little bass thing, and then you do the riff again. Then you hit the open D, you hit a D power chord, and then we start rocking into that uh, that main riff there. Um, which just pops up uh, once in the song, um, which is kind of a bummer. I wish I used it more. But <laughs> that's where it kind of gets a bit uh, tricky. Um, so it kind of starts off the same way um, as that intro. It, the intro is kind of like half of the riff, I think. So it starts off, you know, uh, that, so, well, okay, let me just play the main riff. <laughs> kind of it there. So it's kind of starts off the same way, right? But it starts off just like the intro, but instead of doing that G to the open E, it's going from G to the uh, G sharp on the low E. And then open A. And then, this is where it gets kind of weird. Open E. It's kind of bouncing between that open E, that G, and that uh, A. So it's kind of like that. So. Oops. Uh, it's kind of bouncing between uh, those three notes. Just kind of listen to it and try and uh, pick it up with your ear. So, and I'll try and. Because uh, with me, it's, it's tricky to explain versus. Um, what I'm playing. So I'll just try and show you a close up so you can check it out and uh, watch. Whoops. If you if I play it right. <laughs> so it's so kind of up to speed with that is <clears throat> I tried to make sure I was showing you the picking hand there too. Um, it's all picked. There's no hammer-ons or pull-offs with that riff or anything. So yeah, no tricks there. So that's the main riff. So just just to kind of take it from the top, uh, I'll play it through it uh, slow. So from the very beginning of the recording with that intro, you got. <laughs> Uh, 
so for that very last time you play the riff, <clears throat> um, so that fourth time through, it starts off, you know, just the same way as you did before. But the way you, when you're playing it the first time, you're actually playing the intro. Think of it that way. So it kind of resolves itself, you know. Um, so kind of that whole riff and then that fourth time through is actually that intro. If that's an easier way to think of it. Yeah. And there you go. That's the intro to the song. <laughs> All right. So now that the, the uh, intro is out of the way, we can get into that uh, the verse. And it's pretty straightforward. Um, the first chord might be a little tricky to some people that don't know this. Um, so it, it's it's a easy chord it's just an e power chord but um it's not in the traditional spot like you know e power chord i, I think most of us kind of think up here right you know seventh fret kind of thing. but i'm actually doing an e power chord on the uh, second fret of the uh so second fret of the d and fourth fret on the g same kind of sound but a little bit further down the neck and i'll show you why in a second um but basically those chords are e b g d and then I'm playing the G and D as the power chords, kind of the ACDC way of doing it. Um, so like, uh, it's not like the full, um, you know, the four, four chord, it's just kind of the power chords with that. Right. So it's just that. And then that's, that's pretty much the verse. So it's E. So it's E, B, G, D. And then when you do it again, instead of going to uh, the D power chord, you're going to an E power chord. That's pretty much it. So basically the octave uh, of that first chord. So all together that verse is... Man, <laughs> for some reason I'm having a hard time... Uh, Playing it slow. It's so weird to explain stuff after you uh, play it for so long. Um, so it's the verses. That's literally the verse. It's just those chords repeated over and over. And the chorus is just a D. You're hitting two two hits on the D and then an E. That, that's it. So now, sorry, now we're moving on to the to the chorus. So that whole thing, that's just repeated over and over, I think, uh, a couple times for, for the verse. And then getting into the chorus, um, you hit two hits on a D and then an E chord. I think I'm hitting a power chord on the recording. I don't know. I change it up all the time. It's an E. Play whatever you want. <laughs> Sounds cool either way. And then, um, so, okay, so kind of get, okay, so the chorus, it's. And then that, that, um, that part over that, it's kind of like, um, I think it's kind of like the intro. So it's uh, open E, third fret. Fourth fret on the low, and that's hammer-ons, I think. So it's yeah, I'm just hitting uh yeah, I'm just hitting the open E once, and then second fret on the uh, D, and then you do that again, that first part again. Sorry. So you're kind of alternating between those two notes as on the E and a B, um, which is kind of fun. It's kind of a cool thing. And kind of, you know, again, keep it swinging. This is uh, loose and fun. So it's... Uh, that's the tricky part. I'm just picking that uh, that E note once on the, the open E once, and then it's hammer on to the third and fourth fret. And then, you know, obviously picking the... Uh, the, um, the E and B notes too. So it's a... You can kind of just go back and forth with that for a while to practice it. You know, kind of get it swinging. You know, it's kind of that, 
the groove. That's that's the whole thing with this song. It's very, um, you know, syncopated fun, you know, to me at least. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of that swagger, you know. <laughs> You know, you can kind of mess around with that a little bit. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So, and that's literally, that is the whole um, chorus, and that's the whole outro section, too, after that main solo. Um, and just to kind of talk about the solo, too, um, you know, it keeps going, you know, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. Um, you know, there's that pause, and then you get into a key change for the solo. And that's, um, it's just, it's kind of like a variation on the, uh, verse. But now it's, a uh, B, F sharp, hang on, uh, let me just try and, uh, play it. So it's B, F sharp. And with the F sharp, I play it, um, I mean, I guess if, if you can, you could put your thumb around and do it, but I can't, so I'm just kind of playing it. Um, you can play it with the bar, or you could kind of play it with the, uh, you know, the, um, on the fourth fret, it's the, uh, uh, A and D on the fourth fret, and I'm using the third finger and pinky. And then, I think I'm just kind of hitting a bit of a D on the second. I don't really know. <laughs> it's kind of strange. But it's just an F sharp, basically. So it's B, F sharp. D, A, F sharp, A, E. So that's pretty much it. Just kind of loops around for that for the whole solo. So that's pretty much it for the solo. Um, and then, yeah, and then, you know, like I said, um, there's kind of a sliding part, which I'll talk about in just a second, kind of when I'm going through the lead stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty much the verse for that song, chord-wise. Uh, that's kind of what you need. Um, yeah, and then that whole last part with the chorus, it's, uh, you know, it's just the chorus over and over. And then at the very end, you just do D, D, E, you know. And that's pretty much it for the verse. And, and all the other chord stuff. <laughs> okay, so uh, the solo is kind of tricky to uh, describe. Um, I'm going to try and at least give you an idea of where the stuff is coming from. But in terms of kind of explaining everything note for note, it's kind of tricky to do. I'll do the best I can to at least try and give you an idea of what to do. Um, but I don't think I'll be able to explain everything exactly. So I'm kind of sorry in advance for all that. Um, I'll try and play it a little bit so you can see how some of the looks go and I'll try and give you a bit of an idea of what to do there um but basically you know if you want to just think of the solo as B pentatonic that's basically all it is <laughs> that's basically all my stuff <laughs> so just um so okay so it starts off uh well actually it kind of starts off when you're still doing that chord progression into the uh you know, for the solo, for that key change. With that. When, you're, when you go through that the fourth time, you, you kind of slide from the second fret to the fourth fret on the G. So kind of... Uh, vibrato. And then, you know, kind of again, lots of stuff in that first uh, position, you know, pentatonic last. The full stuff then, you know, kind of a classic bluesy. You know, um, it's kind of a slide, um, um, into that second position, there's a little bit of that slide there. That's just a slide from nine, yeah, nine to eleven. Then you're kind of catching the uh, ten on the B and twelve on the B, and then kind of you're hitting that blues uh, note in that blues scale for when you're sliding from that nine to ten on the G. It's kind of like a, it's really quick, but it is a bit of a slide from eleven to nine before you do that. 
let's, if you play it right. Um, oh yeah, it's that kind of thing. And then you're kind of hitting that, you know, that, um, what's that, the eighth fret? I can't count. That eighth fret, I think, on the, uh, on the G. I mean, really, it's all kind of based in that classic first position blues box. Um, this is a funny lick. It's a it's a full step bend on nine, and then you slide it up and also do it on twelve. Yeah, so it's a big bend on nine, and you slide it up and do that on twelve. I did that on a girl in a magazine too, so it's kind of that same techniques there. If you saw that video, I have no idea who's seen <laughs> which video first, but I did it on Girl in a Magazine as well. You know, it's that kind of thing. It's that kind of thing. It gives it a really sweet, soulful sound. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. And then the lick here is kind of uh, strange. Um, let's see. It's like a, like falls, I don't know if it's a little bit at a time, but it's like a... Yeah, I'm trying to think of how to best kind of describe that, because it, it's kind of strange. Um... Did you kind of hear that there? It's like as soon as you hit that, you're kind of immediately sliding back from that 9 to 7 into that um, extension box at the top there. So it's almost like uh, doing that kind of sets you up for that look in a way. It's kind of a funny thing. Um, it's kind of quick on the recording, uh, but it's got a cool sound. Again, this was this kind of solo was just improvised completely in the moment. It's just kind of like whatever happened happened. So kind of funny stuff like that is gonna pop out in there, um, which is kind of cool because <laughs> half the time I can't recreate it. But we'll talk about that later. So that's why I'm, I'm having a hard time. It's like it's easy to play, but it's easy. I don't know about that. But, you know, it's, it's something that I can play, but it's hard to explain. So I'm sorry about that. Again, I just kind of hope this is giving you kind of a, at least a bit of the ideas of what you can do here. And then from that, that's where you slide up to the third fret. Or third fret, my bad. Uh, third, you know, that kind of BB King box. You know, that kind of sound there. That chromatic kind of thing there from 11 to, uh, what, what fret is that, 14? You know, a little bit of a bend on 14 to 12. And then you got, um, this is fun, uh, 14 and 15 on the E, or excuse me, so 14 on the E, 15 on the B. And then, uh, what is that, 16 on the, yeah, 16 on the G. And then 17, big, uh, not big, but, you know, it's, uh, bend on 17. And then you're catching that E underneath as well on 17. And then you're kind of climbing back from that bend that you did there. So it's that, so that kind of look is from uh, 14, uh, 14, 15, 16, you know, kind of 
that shape. <laughs> It's kind of that sound, you know. And kind of shift it back to that first position with the with the, again kind of a classic um, bluesy leg. You know, uh, what is that? Uh, eight on the uh, G and then uh, uh, B and E on the seven. Yeah, very classic kind of bluesy leg that you know is kind of. The, the main thing in that solo. And then you have two options here, which is kind of interesting. Um, there's there's a walk down that I did twice. Um, so there's two spots you can play. If you want, you can play it down here. And so that mic goes up. And also... So that's basically... Um, uh, I do slide, I don't know, it's kind of random, but you slide to the uh, fourth fret on the G, second on the G, it's basically down the blue scale, and then, uh, uh, what is that, four, three, two on the D, open D, second on the D, open again, and then second fret on the A, or, so it's like a second zero or two zero uh, one two. Again, just basically down that blue scale, and then I do that the octave up here. So that's pretty much it there. So that's like a, and I, that's a definite slide. You can hear that on the recording. So that's twelve uh, ten. So 12, 10, and then 11, 10, 9, 7 on the D. <laughs> and then 9, 7, and then, and then 9, 7, 7, 8, 9 on the D. So that's it for that uh, solo and uh, breakdown. So again, what I'm trying to get across with that solo, maybe you don't get it 100% down, but I kind of hope, you know, you could take something away from it that you can use. Um, if you are able to, to break it down and kind of piece it together from that, that's great. But I, I really kind of hope it gives you an idea to kind of take something that you can kind of put into your own playing. Um, and yeah, that, that's, that's, that's kind of the main thing. <laughs> Um, and the fact that, you know, it's kind of tough to explain what you do right off the cuff. Just wait until you get to Can't Stop Staring. Oh, man. I still can't figure out that solo, but that's, we can talk about that one later. <laughs> um, yeah. So, okay, so you kind of, you know, you have an idea for the main solo, for what you can do there, and kind of some of the licks and the walks, walk down that you can do with that. Um, Let's see. So that just kind of leaves, you know, Mac does this little, you know, oh, screwed up, oh, screwed. And then the, the thing there, that's a big bend. It's, you're grabbing the uh, 14 on the G and 15 on the B. And that's kind of a big over bend. It's like an elephant, but not really. Yeah. It's like I do it, like, kind of go down, I think, and then kind of uh, get it back up. And that's just kind of overbend, you know, overkill kind of thing. And then you're back to that, you know, that chorus.
so those are kind of some of the lyrics to give you an idea. <clears throat> Again, I, I was listening to this and tried to memorize the order, so I don't know if it's going to be like in order, but these are at least some of the main lyrics that you can kind of take away from that outro solo. Because again, all off the cuff, I don't play it the same way live either. Unless, like, there's like certain ideas that I remember that I'll be like, oh yeah, that was cool. Be sure to throw that one in there. Um, that's, that's kind of about it. For the most part, it's just kind of random. <laughs> um, but I know that first select, uh, that's kind of a fun one. Uh, again, so for that main solo, you're kind of thinking it'd be, but you know, in this court, and you know, in that outro thing, kind of shift the focus back uh, to E. Um, we're kind of playing in there now. So that, that first lick that you hear um, is, uh, it's a uh, uh, seven. It's kind of like what we did up here with the I. But now you're doing it in E. So that's a seven, eight, and then. So that's a seven, eight, so seven, E, eight, B. And then, let's see, nine, and then seven on the G. And you kind of slide back from seven to, or excuse me, nine to seven on the D. And then you kind of hit five on the D. Slide back from seven to nine on the D. Seven, or uh, yeah, seven on the G. And then, let's see, I think that's nine on the, yeah, nine on the G. And eight on the B, and then back to nine on the G. Or excuse me, um, you hit that, uh, when you hit that nine, um, or excuse me, <laughs> I'm sorry, when you hit that seven on the uh, uh, G, you also hit nine on the D. Uh, and then that's when you hit the, once you hit that, uh, nine on the D, you hit eight on the B, and then nine on the G. It's a lot to remember. <laughs> so it's that sound. <laughs> Again, you know, do as I do, not as I say. <laughs> that kind of thing there. I hope you can see it okay. So that's kind of that uh, first look that kicks everything off. And then, uh, and then, um, you kind of do that, uh, that next look down here. That... And that's all kind of in that uh, bluesy box, <laughs> that bluesy box, that E thing at the, you know, that kind of thing. So, so that's a, a bend on the uh, third fret on the E, and then open E, and then third fret on the B, and then open B. And slide from three to five on the B. And then open E, and then kind of a hammer on and pull off on the uh, uh, third fret of the B. Second fret on the uh, G. Open G, first fret on the G, and then open E. I think that's kind of how that look goes. So that's kind of that, that second look. Um, <laughs> now, now i got to remember what else I did. Uh, at least those are the first two. Oh, this is a weird one. I can, I, yeah, this is kind of one of those weird ones. That was like in the moment, and it's kind of hard to re recreate. So I think this one is open G, then slide, open G, then a second fret, uh, then slide down to uh, four. So you're kind of doing a quick slide from there. And I can't even tell if I'm hitting the, uh, the that second fret on the D, you know, that E or not, or if it's just open. I think I'm trying to, but maybe not. It's kind of one of those bizarre looks that's like, in the moment, you just go for it and see what happens, you know? Um, but I, 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 that, I think that's what I'm trying to do. I don't know if I did it. It's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> so that's uh, 
that's kind of a funny one. Yeah, you're kind of, it's kind of quick with your sliding around and you're hitting that third fret on B. <laughs> That's a funny one. And pretty much the rest of it's just all in E. Um, you know, there's kind of like that. Like a cool one that I can kind of pick up for you is uh, you slide to a B on the 12. Yeah, so 12th fret B string, which is a B note, yeah. So 12, and then uh, 10 and 12 on the uh, E. And then when you hit that B, slide it back immediately. And then that's uh, eight on the B, and then nine on the G, and then uh, twice on the uh, D, and then that uh, nine on the G. And then pretty much from then on out, it's just all you know those blues licks and E. Like I know that there's one up here. Uh, it's kind of that um, little, like, like a half step, but, um, uh, four, yeah, uh, 14 on the B. You know, it's all kind of still based in that blues pentatonic. So, like, I mean, I, I'm kind of having a hard time remembering which, you know, what exact licks I did, because I, I don't do the same thing twice when I play a live, <laughs> for the song at least. <coughs> um, so... Yeah, I mean, I, I hope some of those looks give you something to take away. At least those are the ones that kind of stand out as something kind of interesting and cool. Uh, but really, like, just the main thing with this is I want you to, you know, have something to take away um, and mess around with. If there is something that I kind of, uh, you know, skimmed over that you would like to hear, just let me know and I'll just do, like, a breakdown lesson or something for that. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, just kind of take some of those looks and, you know, figure out a way to apply it to your playing. And kind of put your own spin on the solo too it's fun to kind of do that every once in a while but yeah and then i guess i should mention the very last thing that uh, is really cool um the very last thing you do in the song um it's a total uh it's it's just a uh, uh, uh you know lots of vibrato it's seven seven nine the Again, total Angus vibrato thing going on. Then, uh, yeah, then it just fits out after that. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's pretty much the whole thing was all screwed up. Um, really fun to play those syncopated rhythms. Um, or uh, just, you know, that whole groove thing. Lots of fun to play. Um, you know, hope you get something out of it. Hope you get your foot tapping. You know, gives you a fun riff to, to kind of uh, mess around with. Um, and yeah, no, thanks for tuning in. Hope you had a lot of fun learning this, and I hope you know you got something out of it that you could take away and apply to your own playing. Cause that's the you know that's the main thing I want you to take away here. Maybe not everything note for note, but just something that it can kind of get your mind spinning a little bit. Going, okay, you know, I got something to mess around with here. Um, so that's pretty much everything with, uh, with All Screwed Up. Got a, got a couple more, you know, got quite a few more songs to do. Um, so I'll get working on those right away. And those will be up soon as well. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. And, uh, hope you have a lot of fun with this tune. Uh, you know, hope it gives you something to take away. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. And, uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye.